you know, that's the main stuff there. But, uh, um, you know, again, like uh, uh, the the Rampage and Collision were both the biggest numbers of the year. So uh, two big numbers coming off of that disappointing number last week. So perhaps, um, and I actually want to make this point now, too, is I thought that Darby Allen interview was so counterproductive. I, I, I couldn't believe it. They ended that show last week with a hot angle, and he comes back, and his blood is all over these guys' jackets. Never brings it up. They beat up Sting's sons with a baseball bat. Never brings it up. They beat up Sting and him with a baseball bat. Bloodied him up. Never brings it up. And start talking about this... Um, you know, basically, his interview was to get over Cody Rhodes, a star, the biggest star in WWE, or the biggest baby. We didn't get in a WWE. Cody chant on AEW, we, but but how could you not? Yeah, I mean that interview was all about, oh, you guys, you know, it's like it was so Russo, so Russo, you know what I mean? Like just, um, and even using like even using the cornet vernacular, you know, like trying to make the cornet stuff. It's like they're trying to make cornet into the baby face. When all he's done is shit on that product, which is, I mean, it's great for Cornette, but I mean, it's like, what the hell are you doing with this, oh, you know, all friends wrestling? You know, it's like, what's that supposed to mean? And going like, you know, you guys didn't want me. You wanted Brandon Cutler, your buddy. And it was a different EVP that brought me in. And it's not Kenny Omega. So they all start chanting Cody. What? It's like you. Why did? Why did they even? Why did they even shoot that angle? Tell me. Why did they shoot the angle if you're going to ignore it next week? They made no, no mention of it in the whole interview. Well, we uh, did get that match made official for the pay per view, and it was just essentially, you know, they said. Uh, uh, well, we'll get to that because it's actually the whole thing involving the match. They interview the young bucks. Matt says we're undefeated this year. Yeah, that should know. make us the top unbeatable tag team in AEW. Well, I mean, but but, but that's also tongue in cheek. I mean, he the whole said, idea they won, they won, they beat Top Flight, and they won a exactly. squash. But that's 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 for heel heat. But he yeah. said we have reason to believe that after beating a team of the quality of these guys, it is safe to assume we should be the number one contenders. And then they put a graphic on the screen: they are the number one contenders the after tag one win. Team titles. Has nobody has no tag team won any matches this year? Well, the point is they they made a mockery of the rankings here in this segment, and then Tony says, "Well, you know, Sting's not here because of that heinous attack." And Matthew said, "Hold on a second, saying that attack was heinous is a breach of contract. They fine him a thousand dollars. Nick shoulder checks him, and Tony falls down." Matt says, "Listen, hold on a second. We don't need to we don't need to have any violence." They give the hand to help him up, but as he gets to his knees, they stop. They're about to give him the EBP trigger. And that's when Darby's music hits. And he says, The original mission statement of AEW is to change the world. When I was homeless, I begged you guys for a job. You guys saw nothing in me. While well, you uh, got jobs for your shit California crew, they said. Or he says, Thank God we had an EBP with some brains. And I'm not talking about Kenny Omega. And of course, that's when the people start chanting for Cody. And Darby what, said, what, "Why did they even do the angle last week? You did an interview. They got they got the freaking Darby Allen blood all over their own ring outfit to add to the heat, and Darby never brings it up. You said the travel was light, the money was good. That's not changing the world. This mission statement is dead. It's all friendship wrestling. I wasn't even on the first show, but Brandon Cutler was, and I know you guys want this to be Sting's final match. Well, you don't know what you've gotten yourself into." Sting as a guy who has nothing more to lose. So it's showtime. So it's on. That's well, how we, they got we, the match. Well, we know it's on. They I mean, worked the, the rankings. And then that, that's, it's the match that, gave them the match. It's the match that we've known has been on for weeks. That's not that's not the issue. It's like they did such a great angle. And what a pitiful follow-up. Oh, God. You know, like, um, and I can see why Sting's not, you know, Sting's not, you know, Sting will be back, whatever, and... You know what you did to his son, his sons, sons. It's like, I don't know. I I left that show last week going like, what a great angle. Oh man, those sons are big guys. They'll be all right. Especially why'd the do, one. Why'd they do it? Renee wants to know what's next for the Bang Bang Scissor Gang. I was like, everything. They've done absolutely nothing together. 
And uh, they're going to do a 12 man tag sometime. They some did point. say, yeah, you know what we should probably do is maybe wrestle. So they are having a 12 man tag on Rampage this coming Friday. Okay, so this was the match. So they hit Willow Nightingale's music for this match, and she comes out and she's a huge baby face. Place going nuts for Willow. Then Sky Blue comes out and she's a heel. Mm-hmm. And then they start wrestling. And Sky goes for the code blue. Oh, it was a finish. That she finish was so it. ridiculous. And Stokely takes the referee, and yeah. the fans start booing because the ref isn't counting Willow getting pinned. Yeah. I was like, what? So, you know. Well, that was that was a total heel finish. Then Willow hits the doctor bomb for the pin. And uh, all I know is I don't know about a heel manager managing baby faces. I don't know how this helps the baby faces because I can tell you one thing: it well, did maybe, not help Willow Nightingale in this match. Maybe, 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 maybe she got gonna, booed. Maybe they're going to end up as heels. Maybe I mean, it's a way maybe. to turn them all heels. If Why they, in the fuck would you turn Willow Nightingale heel? Oh, I would. I would agree with that. God, I know she's such, a, she's such a natural baby face. And and the thing is, Sky Blue just turned heel. Yes. So we'll have to wait and have see how this plays out, but. It was definitely a heel finish. There's no doubt about that. Then we had Orange Cassidy Matt Taven for the international title, last man standing. This match was great. It did feel rushed. They started at the 51 minute mark, and they did have an overrun. So uh, they, went, they went 13 and a half minutes. Although for a Texas Death Match, you know that's I a mean, pretty rushed Texas Death Match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little. It's it's optimum would be a little bit longer, but they did the best they could. I mean, Matt Taven was, I you know he was he was fantastic in this match dude they're both awesome they're bleeding like yeah. crazy i mean they're bleeding orange cassie is just covered in blood and uh by the end of the match matt taven's covered in blood as well and uh they set up a table outside taven did the undertaker dive over the top and he just totally i mean this table exploded when he went through it and they got the thumbtacks out they're taking bumps into the thumbtacks mike bennett runs down Broke a Valentine's Day box over Orange's head. And then he starts throwing chairs in the ring. Then Trent comes down with a pipe. And he takes out Bennett. Taven uh, got taken out as well. And then Orange hit the punch on Taven. Gave him the beach break onto the chair and the tax. And uh, Taven kicked out. He tears the pockets out of Orange's uh, pants. Orange wraps the chain around his fist. Punches Taven. And then Roddy hits the ring. He goes after Orange, but Trent takes the bullet. And then Taven can't answer the count, so Orange retains the title in a Texas death match. The hell of a well, main I don't event. Think that, this wasn't a title match. Oh, not a title. It wasn't a title match? No. Orange always defends the title. Yeah, this wasn't a title match. No, the title match is with Broderick in, uh, on the pay-per-view. I, th- I think they were still saying that Orange was going to be defending the title every week. I thought that was the, the they have said they, they have said that, but this was, this was never mentioned to be a title match. It was only a Texas death match. Well, what was the point of that? Just put the title on the line if guy's going to win. I'm not going to argue that. I agree with you. I don't know why the title make it, wasn't. Make it seem more important. Didn't yep. didn't matter. It was a hell of a match, though. It was well, awesome. Yeah. I do think the Moxley match was better. You have the Peacock app, Granny. It tells me that I'm not on it anymore. Well, you better start logging in because I've been paying for it every month. I don't care anyway. I don't like it. Use Peacock or I'm going to stop paying for it. You can if you want to. Start from 1929. Who was president? Okay. Who was I'll, president when I was alive? That was Donald me. Trump. Some Shut like up. Well, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> up till 1933, it was Herbert Hoover. Hmm. Herbert Hoover. Yeah, and he was uh, 50. Uh, he was our 31st president. <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.